Taiwan's gigabyte technology is facing a boycott in China after mocking low-quality mainland manufacturing. Now, I don't know if it was necessarily mocking. I went through and read it. But, you know, I'm on South China Morning Post, so I mean, you got to get the headline, and I get that. It was an advertisement which was called out by the youth wing of the Communist Party of China. This is like a group on Weibo. It's got a lot of followers. What is it? What was the number? It's like 16 million followers on Weibo. The ad stated, what did they say? Unlike, oh no, yes, this was what it said. Unlike other brands that have opted for low cost and low quality contract manufacturing in China, Gigabyte Technology is committed to producing excellent and high-performing components and laptops. As a Taiwan-based laptop and component manufacturer, we ensure that 90% of our laptops are made locally in Taiwan. What, what do you say, Will? Is that, is that uh, mocking? And also, I thought there was a key thing in here, which was it didn't say all things made in China. It said low-quality contract manufacturing in China. Hmm. So was that more of a hit at really temporary, like fast, can you make a thing for me? And, and Like the prototype. Just was it more of a an attack on a way of doing things as opposed to an entire, because like Apple products are made in China. You see, you see what I'm saying over here? Yeah. It's, it obviously can't apply to everything that's manufactured in China. Yeah, it's a good question. But I can see how also the tone is received in the other way. Like, what are you trying to say? You're trying to say something good has to come from this other place or whatever. So anyway, they pulled the ad down. And now there's a boycott. The The thing vanished. They're, the brand vanished from a variety of shopping sites. There, there was a swift apology, but Gigabyte's products disappeared from most major Chinese e-commerce platforms. Just real quick, no results on JD.com. The official Gigabyte store on T-Mall had no product listings. Mm. Just vanished. Bye-bye, Gigabyte. <laughs> you said what? Yeah. Some, with the swiftness, that's some speed to it. Uh -huh. You said what? What did you say, Willie? That's what I want to know. What's Gigabyte's uh, equivalent? Yeah, you're no longer States? on JD.com. You're gone. Uh, Gigabyte's Would equivalent? Be like, well, uh, the, the truth of the matter is they make nice stuff. I mean, I use their stuff. Like, they yeah. <laughs> they, they, they actually, uh, it is high quality stuff. Like, what can I say about it? Uh huh. Mechanical keyboard in the laptop, and I'm sure. tapping away, and. Yeah, I don't know what, what the equivalent... Well, there's a couple of them in Taiwan, right? There's a couple of of uh, component makers, yeah, laptop manufacturers in Taiwan. I mean, what's qu equivalent here? What do you that mean by that? just like completely just gone. Nothing. You can't like, just flip uh, a switch and get it off no, all e-commerce. No, I'm just e like what's equivalent to that? Like uh, Costco or something? <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? If, if, if it was no longer available at Costco or something? No, like a company like like gigabyte in like U the u.s like what's equivalent to that just being gone you know you know what i mean not really like no, a product okay. or a, a brand a company yeah, a, brand. a company just vanishes yeah because i'm trying to like, well, like a car figure out how big they are in china oh the scale like of the, what's compared the scale of the company yeah like what's what's uh uh, I actually don't know the number of units or the revenue yeah. of the company, but I think you, it could apply to, um, well, you could apply it to anything. You could apply it to any consumer good that's available that could easily be boycotted. But the thing that wouldn't happen, I don't know what a company would have to say to immediately get pulled from a variety of retailers. Usually it would have to be some sort of safety concern or something. Sure, yeah. Or it would have to be so offensive. Or dangerous. Or dangerous. Yeah. The, the company would have to do something pretty wild to get pulled from all the all the retailers all at once. Yeah. Um, 
I can't imagine a scenario where that would happen, but okay. I'm sure it has in the past. But definitely safety and recalls and things like that, it does happen where it will vanish. But, um, I mean, good luck to. Well, Gigabyte. Trump. Trump was trying to ban companies, right? Like TikTok, like Huawei. Is that? Uh, it was different in the sense that it was. Yeah, there were and, investigations, and they were claimed to have information about yeah. espionage or whatever it was. It wasn't any one particular statement, but that effectively kept those products off the shelves. Yeah, in the US. but even then, like Huawei wasn't big in the states. I'm saying. Well, like, they never. They never had a chance. Yeah. I'm saying like equivalent, like uh, maybe like a Facebook or something <laughs> being canceled. No, Facebook's huge. They're just dude. done. I, I don't know. Facebook. I don't know. You're taking us on a wild goose chase here. Well. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, good luck to Gigabyte. Hopefully oh, I'm sure they'll get it sorted out. out. I made an apology. I'm sure they'll get it sorted out. They just, uh, you know, it's like anything else. They started putting that made in Taiwan badge on there and, and you have similar stuff happen in Japan and Germany and the US for that matter. You know what I mean? Sure, yeah. It happens and then you overstep the bounds and people people might say, Well, you know what? I'll just skip your your product then and I don't like what you it's up to people to determine how they feel about these things. Uh -huh. Ultimately. But it's pretty hard to buy it when it's not in the site anymore. <laughs> Kind of takes away the option, doesn't it? Well, mm -hmm. 